Okay, so we'll see how this goes. I'm recording this in an airport. Um, so the last step is the FSL pipeline. Uh, the quality assurance is step six. So this is typically where people are pretty thorough looking around because this is where you find out you don't have any results and you wonder why. So I'll show you some files to look at. And of course this is the hard part because either you have results and no, maybe it's not the hard part. Maybe you'll have exactly the result you expected. But sometimes things are unexpected and you either want to make sure there wasn't an error in your analysis or something else. So the QA step, um, one thing you want to do is check that your mask looks about right. Uh, look at your log and your HTML output to see what's there and I'll do a quick tour of that and then also flip through your filtered funk data. Uh, it's always your dependent variable in the model. So you just want to make sure everybody's brain, <coughs> excuse me, looks okay. So here is the HTML output for my second level analysis. And so quick skim looks good. Now if you go to the post stats, this is where it shows you your corrected threshold of statistics. And I don't have any in the contrast I ran, uh, which was the fail stop minus successful stop. And I don't know if that was expected or not. I'd have to go back and look at the paper. Um, but you can look here, but I generally prefer looking in FSL view to looking here because I can't click around or anything. So don't just, I don't know, don't just use this. Always load it up. So, all right. The main directory looks like this, like all the other ones, and your mask file is here. So I'll just do a quick look to make sure nothing outrageous is missing often helps to add your the BG image is a good image to know about so the BG image it's a background image it's everybody's functional after registration averaged together so this is um, good to use to overlay your statistics because it is more representative of the anatomy of your um, the resolution and the anatomy that you actually have, as opposed to the MNI, which will have much better resolution. So then just put the mask up on top, and do a quick look through, make sure nothing huge is missing. So just some usual frontal stuff dropped out. Okay, so that looks good. Now if we go into the cope1.feet directory, here is where you'll see the thresh z stat one. .nii.gz. So this is corrected for multiple comparisons and you can look at this on the background image. This is kind of a waste of time because I know there's nothing there but this is how you would load it. Okay. It always loads the filtered funk data and I always move it. Oops. Thresh these dead on top, and then you would typically make it red so you could see the activation in it. But this one isn't going to have any. But what you can do is if you don't have anything that met the threshold criteria, you can add the Z stat, which is in the stats directory. And you could do an uncorrected threshold. So Z stat 1, and I can choose a threshold of 2. That's uncorrected, and now I can see what was sub-threshold in the brain. So you can only set lower bound thresholds. Um, if you try to set one to look at the negatives or something like that, it's not going to look very pretty. It just is not interpretable, so you always do lower thresholds. And let's see, what else is in here? The filtered funk data is right here. So this is a good image to review. To make sure everybody looks okay. There used to be a funny error where um, when empty EVs were used, FSL put the um, the, uh, the structural in place of the data for an empty EV, so that would cause quite an error in your analysis. So anyway, you just want to flip through these and make sure everybody looks okay. Now what's okay? I don't know. You'll, you'll know when you see it if it's not okay. 
they'll either be a lot brighter or a lot darker than everyone else. So this one's not, this one's a little weird looking, but it's not too bad. I think that's about it. It's kind of up to you at this step if your analysis worked out or not. Uh, let's see, what other files are in here? Let's go into the stats directory. That again is where the ZStat statistic is. There's a T statistic here too, but I usually use the Z statistic for viewing because then you don't have to worry about degrees of freedom. There's a residual image in here. Um, yeah, and these are just the they're between subject variances. Estimates are in this file, which you probably aren't going to look at. The contrast estimate, which is the numerator of your T statistic, and the barcode, which is the denominator. Those were in all levels of analysis. So I think that's really it. Yeah, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. Hopefully this worked okay. Recorded at the airport. Please follow on Facebook or Tumblr or Twitter or all three and have a great day.